Yes, what's happening? Good, we're back again. Listen, the video today um, is just me doing a seal. Okay, now I'm gonna put this up because there's another variation of something that we do as bricklayers. Um, we started a job probably about three months ago, the garage conversion, do you remember? But the, the client, the contract I'd done it for, didn't think about the seal. So when I reminded him it's got to match the existing in the house, he then had to place an order in. But I did say to him, making these seals can take eight, 10 weeks. So finally, we're here. But there's a little history to this seal with me and the client. So I'm gonna put some pictures up, make sure you read it, because be proud of what you do and who you are and stick by your guns. Right, this is the baby here. Because it's such a big seal, it's all it comes in too. So we're um, get her in. What I'm gonna do now is gonna ask the, um, the wholesaler if he's got the line so I can do a nice lime joint in between, which they normally give you a little bag to point up. You don't want to do it with sand and cement, it's got to be done with a lime, okay? So let's push it on. There she goes. Now, come with me, let's have a look at some of these stones. One of my favorite places. A good coping stone can finish off a wall amazingly. Now, look at these. Beautiful. All your nice pier caps. We've done a job once with these over here. Look how smooth that is. How lovely. It really does finish the wall off. You know, it's worth trying to talk to the client and encourage um, a good coping stone. It really does finish the wall off. Let's have a look around here. Yeah, that one, ain't it, hey? <laughs> Notice you've got the lifting plugs in, yeah. The hooks go in so you can lift them on. I don't know if it's man handled. And come over here, loads. And look at these. Imagine these on the wall. Finish it off, lovely, especially a nice stock wall. And come over here, look at this. A little bit of character. Brilliant. So, stay with us, check us out throughout the day. It's just enough for one joint, mate, really. So we just get a little mix now, just ask, you always go, don't forget. So don't just grab your copings and go, always ask for the mix to do the joint, because it's the same color as the stone, it looks fantastic. These are the molds. Beautiful, look at that. Really nice, uh, really nice. If you look through there, it's all the different moulds that help shape stuff, you know, and they put it on, they vibrate and stuff. Um, I'm actually having a stone done at the minute. That's lovely, cheers, my man. You No, we haven't. Could you chuck a bit in there for us? Cheers, pal. Thank you very much. So, this is the mix here. Um, Paul's going to just chuck a little bit of white cement in, so then we can really get it in with the colour of the stone. So, in between the joints, when we point it up later, it's a nice soft sand and it will go in to the colour of the stone. All right, morning. morning. We're nice and early to this morning. <laughs> Sorry. It's all with that, ain't it? When you turn early, we will cut the tea. Time's always waiting. <laughs> yeah. You busy? Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Good, huh? Yeah. That's right. Got to do it while you can. Yeah. So, what's this here then? Is that a mould? It's just one of the moulds, isn't it? It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at the mould. A lot of work goes into these. These guys that don't get. Guys? That's lovely. It's only one joint. Yeah. You'll be all famous on YouTube later. Eh? Hey? You'll be on YouTube later. You'll oh, be famous. Oh no. Look at that. Thank, Thank you me. very much, guys. Cheers. God bless. Thank you. See you later. Yeah. Cheers. See you later. So, got the two mixes. Let's go back here.
good to have arrived. And always nice to see the job, okay? Very rarely get to go back to this bricklayers, didn't we? But then she looked nice. She's coming out well. Yeah, come look at this. Really happy with the mortar. Okay, give that a year. 18 months, that'll blend in a bit better. So I'm gonna repoint, get these holes in. We're gonna put the awning up. The rough arses didn't point it. Obviously we took the awning down. Um, the seal, gonna go in. We're gonna cut two course off. I'm hoping that they've measured it correctly and we've got the horns. Okay, I'm hoping he's not just measured it from brick to brick. So that matches existing. But yeah, overall, really happy. So let's get this cutter out. Let's get this baby in. got now it's just harder work because it's just bloody lack of knowledge so what you've got is where they put the window window in and she just waited for the sake of taking the two course off you've got the lip of the seal and they've mastic it as well so obviously getting this top of that is going to be a little bit harder work for the sake of just waiting you know so remember on these jobs like this take your time Knowledge is power, take your time. So, like any other day, guess who's got to get over it? The brick bag. What I'm doing now is scoring the silicon to loosen them. I don't know why they've mastic this in when they know there's a seal going in. Perfect. But it is what it is. So if we break this silicon mark, it helps with the cut. As we cut around. Get that in there, stop enough from coming out. But it is what it is. Good job, Dino. Insulated it all, yeah. No cutting corners. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. I want to know if I've priced for the muck away as well. Wait till I text you that later. How <laughs> you all been anyway? You been all right? Drop a comment below, let me know what you've been up to lately. How's life treating you? Hey, probably a bit like my comments on the videos. Positive and negative. <laughs> Good. She goes. Right, so we measured the cross and what we've got is horns on the seal. Yeah? That sit here. So I've measured the cross, so bang on, so now I've got to scribe a line from the head of this brick down to get this one, this one, this one out. And of course, this one. Okay, if you're not sure what I mean, follow me here. see here what we call the horns the horns of the seal are bedded into the brickwork so we've got to make sure we get a nice plumb line and the measurement spot on okay now what I'm gonna do if there is a problem with the seal be 10 20 mil over or under I'll put the rougher cut the offside so you don't see the joint as much but I've measured the seal 
and it's within five mil, so we're good, happy days. So let's get a nice cut, let's get a go. What I'm doing now is just drilling some pilot holes. So I'm getting a little bit easier rather than getting the chisel straight in. Okay, so if you have problems tweaking that, get yourself a drill, drill yourself some pilot holes, and get it come out easier. Almost like that. You see? Beautiful, beautiful. Like brown sauce on a bacon sandwich. Now we've got her out. Hold on, Sam. Nice cut in there, which is nice. Uh, what they've done is they've screwed the seal down, as you can see, the bloody screw. So I'm gonna rip that back and forth, left and right gently, and eventually let it snap off. I've just done two others, so that will get there. Now, what we're gonna do now is clean up everything, dust off, wet it all down, get rid of all the dust now before obviously we point up because we don't red dust going in that white cement. So carry on Sam. Good lad. So what we're doing now is giving the, the, the double the double glazing a good wipe down of all the dust. A dry builder's clean with the kitchen roll. Make sure we get everything clean and then we'll give her a screw up with a window cleaner. Um, and then obviously wet with the bricks down. Now this will help because when you're adding the white cement in the joint, what you don't want is any red dust going in that because when you joint them up, you, good luck trying to get it out. And also, do a good job. Listen, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll give her a builder's clean now, and then when we're finished, we'll give her another good clean after. Sammy, Hello. wax on, wax off. Left, right, right, left. It's all part of learning as well. I mean, a lot of youngsters looking at this probably think, you know, he's using his as a skivvy, I'm not. I'm teaching him, I've just done a bit myself and I'm explaining to him that a clean sight is a happy sight. Go the, go the bit more, or whatever else would. Teach him discipline. Right, full apologies, I should have filmed that, but we've only got two pairs of hands and it was hard getting a seal in. Um, right, the mistake here is they've put the window seal on. So we have minimal space to try and get her in. So I didn't even attempt to lay a bed. So we've had to dry pack the seal in just to get her in. And I had to use my trowel to wedge and put this in. Now to me, not too bad it's all right so what i'm gonna do now is get some really dry muck and really absorb and push some right in and around the horns um also what i didn't tell you my thought again was look trade damp always trade damp the seals so we've got the damp coming in up because the work's built inside what i've done is i screwed it to the internal block work this will stop any water any moisture coming in Remember, tray damp or damp doesn't stop damp. It helps prevent it. So it's not 100% proof, okay? So I know I've pierced the damp with the screws, but it's better than nothing, you know? So tray damp wraps in and up. So she's tri packed, she's done. Got a nice little joint I've got to fill in. So we'll get some muck knocked up and we'll give it a go.
really compress. See the mortar we've used from knocking up. It's almost squeezed to the hand. But nice and dry. A bit of a pain when we're pointing up. Use a flat tool. Really compress that muck in there. Fine lines. It's a very fine line between winning and losing, my son. I, my son, am a winner. Fiddly diddly diddly. Fiddly diddly diddly. The attention to detail, the micro techniques, as they say. Ready? Pulse is racing, darling. Now, where we are, little by little, we meet in the middle. There's danger in the dark, it ought to be illegal. Get her off and she's laughing. It's a continuation through all that. I've done that quite neat there anyway. You know, I've pulled that ever so well. Go a closer look. Come down here. Just gives it once we get a brush on that. Get rid of this access gives it a nice neat finish and then you come around here i'll do the horn the same gives me a cut there get that in so the other joint blends in the old makeup brush will come out in a minute I'll get some stick. One on. Bop. There you go. I have that one. We use the makeup brush for. Um, um, bop, bop. There you go. <laughs> Here you go. I'll break this one in. Turn it back down. Yeah. And then we'll let that brush. From behind that. Here's your winner. Chicken dinner. Good, right. Now, 
Let's get some in that joint now. Normally, sand some in in that middle there, and we just point up the top five, maybe 10 mil. But because we had to dry pack it, we don't get in. I've got to try and wed some right in there anyway, so we'll see how we get on. So now we're just adding a little bit more lime and white cement to this. Where'd you get that barrel from? Oh, they gave it to me. Got that old boy next door. The old <laughs> It's like one out of being cute. It does a job though, look, he's not in up with it. Precise. It's like forensics. Dry it up a little bit, mate, because that's going to smear that stone. It's a bit dry. It feels really dry. So you're 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 contesting the word of knowledge. I'm a ranking officer. I'm a ranking officer, lad. It's too wet, Sam. Miles too wet. It'll smear it up. is I'm compressing the gear in as you can see and then we'll leave her and then over here I'll leave it for a while and then I'm going to put my timber for it because this absorbs the moisture and it'll give me a bit of a dry surface to damp it in but first of all it's important you really compress this in get it in let it overspill, it'll clean off, don't worry. Okay. Good. If you come over here, got a little damage to the seal there. So, again, I'll compress some in. Knock this out a bit wet, Sam, for me. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and the little donkey. So again, let's shape up the stone. And then I'll get the uh, timber on her. Give her a little brush off. To give it the aggregate look. There was another little bit of damage here as well. I see. There she is. Overpack it and it gives you a bit more so when it goes off to work with. That's it. So, load of it gear. So, what I'll do is I'll keep this on my trail in case I need it. We'll have a cup of tea and um, let it go off. Have a little bit of cleanup. There you Horses there, bush. I bloody forgot it, you know. Give her a little texture on this one. See what I've done there? Just that little dab. Now, if I was here in a couple of days, get a bit of sandpaper, rough sandpaper, and rough that over. Magic. Beautiful. She's a winner. Chicken dinner. 
I'll have anyone who wants to know. <laughs> Remember the days. Now I'm like, whoa, I don't get. Uh, anyway, listen, we're done. So the whole idea of these garage conversions is simply not to make it or look like it used to be a garage. So it's an add-on to the existing house. So it looks like an, an extension as such. Um, and it's so important to remember the micro techniques, you know, the attention, the detail to bring out to life. Now looking at her now, doesn't she look lovely? She looks beautiful. Now the stone seal was forgotten and I said that putting the stone seal in. And if you remember my previous video, I said about the bigger window, because originally we was going to have another brick each side, which was a small in the window. So I'm glad we can't went with the original big window because the light just reflects straight through now. And if you look at the house, see the stone sills. So when you pull around in the car, it's like an extra add-on to the house. So it has how it should be done. from a stone seal so um, guys listen comment below and let me know your opinions and what you think if you think I was right or if you think I was wrong or let me know what you do um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because it helps engage us and gets a channel right up there so listen thank you all so much for watching um, I hope you're all well and um, you all keep well and you're cracking on like I said let me know what you're up to but for the meantime me outro ready Chelmsford You've been traditional. Well, 